It's your main man Tommy here, giving you guys a message from God. I think we're living in the end of times because everything from the Bible, all that Jesus predicted and told his disciples, is starting to come true. Tornadoes are getting worse, earthquakes are getting worse, floods are getting worse. The power of God is just being revealed into this earth. And also, as the time as the wicked is getting bad, now we have all the devil's devices through cell phones, tablets, and now Sophia the robot. I think we are heading in the wrong direction. This world needs to be saved. We must do our part. We must bless people. We must protect them. We must teach them the word of God. We must not teach them into this new world religion that I've been thinking about all these days. This new world religion is going to take a lot of souls and straight, send them straight to hell. We need to give them the word of God. We need to teach them that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and whoever believes in him will have eternal life. Just as God has told us, if you have any problems, claim and he will, he will be proclaimed. Ask and you shall receive. The word of God is so clear to the believers, but the non-believers is hard to bring them to their level. Most of them just don't care about it. We live in these new generations where they're all super official. Uh, their, their minds are in the gutter. Their minds are on with world things, art, uh, celebrities, artists, and everything. Most celebrities are all from the Illuminati and also from the devil worshippers, disguise. The truth needs to be coming out now. The word of God is here. We must be ready. We must be alert. We must prepare for what Jesus Christ has given us. This is our mission as Christians. This is our tribulations to believe in God. We must be ready to serve God. We must be ready to die for God. We must be ready for God. Jesus Christ is our, our God. He died on the cross for us. And now we have say we're safe just because Jesus died for us doesn't mean that we need to live by the law we need to live the law that Moses told us not to have idols honor the Sabbath respect your mom and dad not to kill not to steal don't fornicate don't covet thy neighbor's wife and the rest of the commandments can't remember the top of my head I just want to say to everybody uh, who's listening or learning that you're not alone. That the Spirit of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is in one of you guys. It's in every single one of you guys. And that you guys are meant to set me safe. And I'll do everything in my power and in my strength to bring you guys to the Word of God. As a testimony my testimony I believe that there's power in the name of Jesus and if we're learning the Word of God and you all of a sudden you get mad for no reason that's a demon coming into you or an entity there's a lot of them all around and we need to start rebuking them in the name of Jesus because there's power in this name of Jesus and with the glory and the Holy Spirit we are safe so brothers and sisters I'd like to say a prayer for you guys Father in heaven, bless every YouTube watcher watching this, any non-believer to learn to get closer to you, that you are Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You die for us and that we're saved and that the Holy Spirit be one of, be in with every single one of them and that their families and their that their families and their lives be protected by you, that they may be saved and not fall into the mark of the beast or into the new religion that's coming into the world, new world order, that we have to be alert as Christians, we have to be alert as new believers, that we believe in God, that we were meant to die for God because we love God with all our heart. Jesus Christ is our Savior, and in the name of Jesus, I pray for every single brothers and sisters listening to me, in the name of Jesus, that we pray, glory to God, amen.